G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I haven't been doing much YouTube lately. I've been pretty busy. I've got a few things on the plate lately. Uh, so what have I been doing? Well, I've been working on that little um, steam engine that I showed you a couple of videos back. And it's been a tricky little devil to work on, you know, to, to do, because uh, you're trying to line stuff up when you work with junk, that's the thing. It's hard to line stuff up, and I've had to rework a few things. Oh, it's pretty noisy at the moment, so you can hear thunder in the background. We're getting some inclement weather, and uh, if you hear a bit of booming and crashing, it's thunder. So yeah, this old girl's been doing a lot of work. Uh, see, I've still got the reamer set, in, set up in there for reaming out for uh, the piston and everything. Pilots once again. I've had them up this end too, but I swapped it out. This is the whole thing that you know. If you ever buy a, a lathe, think about swap, you know, think about swapping out the chucks because you know if you want to use collets, you're going to have to swap out the chuck, swap in the collet chuck, you know, swap out the three jaw, swap in the four jaw. It's a lot of mucking around, and these little buggers are they're bloody heavy. I tell you, and it's a five inch. It's not bad. But when you get to a, a six inch, that's about as much as I can muscle, you know, without bloody go, going to supports and all the rest of it. So yeah, you know, you don't want to go too big because if you're working on stuff where you've got to do a lot of chuck swapping, it's going to be a pain in the ass, I tell you right now. Plus, having more than one blade is fantastic. I mean, this old girl's been working, doing a lot of it. Plus the Shorblin's been doing heaps of brass work as well, once again, collets. That's all I've, pretty much all I've ever used it for. Occasionally put a forger on there, but pretty much all collet work. And, uh, yeah, that weather's coming in. Yeah, collets are model maker's best friend for sure. And I've even been using the mini lathe to do some work. This is a really good little machine. I was had it all cleaned up, ready to sell it, because I'm going to sell it eventually. And, you know, then you think, Jesus, you know, once you've got stuff set up on other lathes, you don't want to undo it all, so you just move on to another one. So having three lathes is, well, I've got four, I've got the, the little Sherline as well, but since I've got this, I'll be doing a lot of Sherline stuff on here, and uh, it's a good machine, a really good machine. I see they've stopped bringing them into Australia. Um, Soon more aren't selling them. And uh, the whole bite from the warehouse thing seems to have fallen through. They were still selling them in Canada, but I'm not sure where they still are. So, yeah, there's been a bit of a rejig there. And, of course, getting stuff out of China now was a real problem, you know. A lot of production's ground to a halt. Anyway been using this and I've I swapped the quick change tool post across so I've taken the four way off just temporarily and I just swap it between here and the um, and the old Shorblin and uh, yeah so I'll show what I'm doing so the bench is fairly clear not too bad I've tidied it up a bit and I've been doing bronze brazing and I was really going to do a video showing bronze brazing but I've done quite a few on that and Showing you, I was thinking about showing you how I make the little con rod. I'll come in close on this, you can see where we're at with this. It's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, so here we are with this, and uh, you can see I've got the piston in the cylinder, the cylinder all done, and the shaft's done. The, uh, the little con rod I made that this morning. I had to shorten it three times because trying to get the, the measurement right. You get, you've got clearance issues here because you haven't got a lot of space in here for the uh, for the crank journal, you know. So uh, yeah, space is uh, tight. Anyway, and it, what I had to do was, if you look at this closely, originally I was going to have the pivot, this you know, crank rod here because that was never going to work. So then I moved it down to here to give myself some more 
room and I could have done it but it would have been really hard to line everything up so I went down a little bit further if you look I can see, you can see I've dropped it down another oh, I don't know 10 mil now everything's perfect it, it, uh, it lines up and spins over beautiful so yeah I'm really pleased with that it was a fair bit of work doing all that I had to remake this um, crank journal the original one had a little bit of run out the trouble is you see when you work on this scale the slightest error and it'll bind up on you and things like that but this turns out beautiful and I use reamers for the uh, both the brass bits so it's going to have a, a flywheel a steel flywheel on here and that should be enough to smooth it out if I have to lift it up well I'll just have to put a bit on more on the bottom I suppose but I think it'll be okay the flywheel will, will fit on there should do the job so the next job is oh, it's raining now so the next job is to uh, make up the porting when I've done the porting well, then I'll take out the shaft and I'll mill the flats on there drill out the centre of the shaft because that is the exhaust as well so this will come up and go over and in I could have just soldered it straight in but I, I uh, tried to use another fitting come out at 90 degrees and it didn't work out so now I've got a thread up here so I have to basically just use another fitting in there so that'll come up and go down anyway it's going to work out well it's going to work out good it's uh, yeah good brain food well it sounds like the rain's set in so no more video it's going to drain out the uh, audio so that's it from me for now I've got a message today to say the Hilda replacement is very close so that should be arriving soon so if I can do some video, I'll uh, probably review that next time around. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.